This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. And I'm sorry, but we have the Nitro Girls on. Are you watching this? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Okay, just making sure you're, you're seeing this. Kimberly coming down last, shaking and baking there. They're talking about the old Nitro party. Were there any thought? What did you guys think of the Nitro Girls? Was there ever thoughts of maybe having your own Raw? Well, I guess eventually you'd do the Spirit Squad. That's a whole other story. But what did you think here about about the uh, the Nitro Girls deal? Nice, nice, like cheerleaders. Yeah. They, they, uh, it was, it was an interesting idea. I had no problem with it. And okay. they, they seem to always do well. Look, how long were they on camera all ago? 15, 20 seconds. Yeah. They had a couple of those spots throughout the show. There you go. That's what you're not getting a steady diet of it. You're not getting large doses of it. Uh, and the, the ladies always look nice. They always are dressed, uh, you know, in a, it was symmetry. Like always there was a theme coordinated. Yeah. Yeah, they were all, always good. So, yeah, no, I thought that was a nice idea. I don't think we ever considered it. Uh, we were going to invest, when we were investing in females, uh, I would, Vince, get, the mandate for me was to hire athletic 10s. Mm. That's a tall order. It's hard to hire an athletic 10. You did a good because, job, JR. Let me yeah, just tell we you. got lucky. We got lucky <laughs> a lot of times, so I'll tell you. And we had a good staff that helped train these ladies. And I hired some women that were terrific about working in the ring working and were able to help raise the game of the Trish Stratuses and the leaders and so forth. You know, lady Lisa Moretti, Ivory yes. uh, was a big, great teacher. Jackie Moore was phenomenal, uh, for example, but, but having a, a sane focused locker room with those ladies was really a good thing. It was a, it was a really good thing because it built unity teamwork and they all knew that look you got a chance to to make some money here and by the way we had divas making seven figures you know at, 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 in in time mm. uh of course china was one of the first ones i don't know if she she didn't like being called a diva as we discussed on the show before but yeah. nonetheless uh the other ladies were they played together well and the the the, the veterans the real experienced workers jazz was another one uh, they were unselfish with their knowledge and their time and their patience. So uh, I, I thought that's, that's kind of where we invested our cash. And, sure. And uh, we wanted to make sure that was going to look good. Well, on uh, behalf of my generation, we thank you for your eye for talent. <laughs> yeah. You did a phenomenal yeah. job there. You just mentioned so many ladies and athletes and performers that are were part of our, you know, that 18 to 34 demographic. But it was on the shirts and yeah, uh, yeah they're and they look like a, a set of twins there, Tony and Larry. So <laughs> good stuff. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I like those AEW uh, sleeveless uh, jackets that you guys have. Oh. Those are sharp. <laughs> Those vests, yeah, the vests. They're North Face, yeah, North okay. Face vests. Yeah, they're, they're nice. They're company issued, and so it's yeah. Well, you know, we're outside. That's true. And uh, Wednesday night we were. It was the mid forties. Mm. So in you know, Florida, you're out there. in Florida. Yeah, right. So uh, it's what it is, man. You just you got to got to get dressed warmly for a two hour run out there, and then when we do a tape show on Thursday nights there the next week. We're generally out there more than two hours for some reason. And it's always been this way. It was this way when, when I, uh, when in WWF, when I, uh, or WWE either, when we were recording SmackDown, do raw live on Mondays and you do SmackDown to tape on Tuesday. And it was always a pain in the ass because mm -hmm. the talents realized they had a net they had a, they had a, they had a, uh, they could, they had protection. They could do something over if absolutely necessary. And they didn't have the, the heightened sense of urgency. I think we find that in any tape show. People know they got that net. They got a, they got a, a safety net. Right. So that, that's how that worked on that deal. But nothing like going live because Vince used to say all the time, nothing can go wrong. We're live. So whatever you say, boss. <laughs> Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.